Okay, welcome to another Mark Angry Review. This time we're going to talk about one of the really popular questions I get asked all the time. Um, material madness, what's the deal? Good, bad? Um, it's a great question, actually. Finally, people asking the right questions instead of asking stupid ones. Um, yeah, it is interesting. And here we go. Firstly, should you buy the material madness? Well, have some patience, I'll explain it. Um, before I explain it, you need to understand one thing, and that is you need to plan out what gear you want. If you don't know what gear you want, you're just going random Rambo all over the different types of gears. You're wasting your time, and you should probably stop the video now and get lost because you don't belong in this video. Work out what you want. I have a great article. Um, I'll link to it below. Um, plan out your article. Plan out your gear. Work out what type of true type you want to focus on. You can't focus on them all. You've got to have one that's just better than the rest, unless you're just crazy Peter Player, Peter Pie, and you, you know, you want to just spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Otherwise, work out what you want. Um, that being said, once you work it out, the Material Madness versus the $5 packs. Let's say, for example, Gargantuan pack. You know, you want to focus on Cav and you want lots of Gargantuans. Is it better to get the Gargantuan pack or the Material Madness that has it all? Well, the Material Madness is 20 bucks. Gargantuan pack is 5 bucks. Here's the, here's the funny thing. The Material Madness is way better than the Gargantuan pack. And you get all the other packs with it. Material Madness, let's just go, let's check it out. Material Madness has 20 bucks. And you get all of this. And the, the stuff on the bottom is garbage, don't worry. But all of these packs, 233 of them, of each one, and then the monstrous chest, which is really awesome. It's giving you, you know, the possibility just to win the rare materials. Um, the material man is just so much better than the $5 packs. And that's assuming you just want to focus on Gargantuan. If you want to focus on a whole bunch, which most people do, especially on a beginner level, the material madness is way better. Don't waste your money on the $5 packs. You're just throwing it in the bin. Um, and just focus on the material packs. Buy a whole bunch of them. I mean, if you plan to spend the money, you don't need to pay rent or any other bills, that is. If you do, then don't buy packs. You just, that's just ridiculous. Don't spend the actual needed money on on a game. But if you, you know, you want to have some fun and you have a little extra money here and there, go for it. This is the way to go if you want to work on your gear. First, work out what gear you want. But, you know, assuming you have an idea, go in and buy the material madness. Don't waste your money on the $5 bags. What if you've you've had a whole bunch of, of gear already built? You either did a whole bunch of material madness, and now you want to hyper-focus on another, on a particular pack. Well, then maybe the $5 pack is actually worth it. Most likely not, but what's really worth it is the Royal Fair, Royal... Trade Fair and the Summer Sunshine. And there's another pack, I forgot what it's called. I'll show you which one it is. But basically, you're guaranteed a purple with this. The Material Madness, I'll show you, I'll open up one one pack just to show you what it's like. I'm not going to open up 3,000 packs like all the rest of the people. It, it gets boring. No one wants to see 3,000 packs opening. At the end of the video, I'll just open up one pack to give you an idea of, you know, what, what the drop rate looks like, even though the numbers the numbers are, are there. Um, maybe maybe I'll, I'll link to the drop rates uh, as well so you'll be able to see what it is. But here's the Royal Trade Fair. This is a great pack. No, don't start off with this. Start off at the beginning definitely with Material Madness. Just get a whole bunch of them. And then when you like need a top up, these give you a guaranteed purple. So not 10 bucks, half the price. But when you buy it, you're guaranteed a purple Gargantian, a purple Cursed, a purple Glistening Pearl. And then you get a few over here, but you know, no one's really counting. No one's really counting the chests over here. Um, the Royal Trade Fair, to answer the question, Material Madness is better. Um, but once you're a little further ahead, the Royal Trade Fair is going to be a lot better because you get you know what you're getting. Material Madness, you can just get complete garbage. Well, I guess we'll see what I end up getting. But, you know, the drop rate is only just a percentage. You could, end, you, you could just have bad luck and just get complete garbage from Material Madness. And that's 20 bucks down the drain and you have nothing to show for it. Um, usually, you do pretty well. You know, you get a few good stuff and it ends up being worth it. Royal Trade Fair, if you want to focus on a particular item, this is the way to go. Um, a lot of people, they got up to gold, and now they wanted to get up to the mythic gear. I would strongly recommend do a bunch of material madnesses before you start going to the Royal Trade Fair and topping it up and working out which sets you need to, you know, you need to top up. Material madness, it's good. you got to be lucky, and usually I'm not a fan of just 
like um, like I say in my article, I'm not such a fan of people just, you know, gambling away. You know, this is a game of strategy, not a game of, uh, you know, this, this is not um, a game for just spinning the dice. But Material Madness, the odds are good enough that, you know, if you need overall blanket stuff, just go for it. That's the summary of it. Anyway, I'll show you. What, I'll show you an example of of opening up a pack. Okay, I bought the chest. I bought the the material madness. Here's the system message. It automatically generates. Um, let me just show you opening it again. Whatever happens, it doesn't. Not really a representation of of what's actually. You know what would happen with any every person. I might do well. I might not. What I might not. Anyway, monstrous stress. Uh, let me open up this one. Yeah, all, all blue um, and some greens, but they're all rares, which is pretty cool. Um, the that that that's you know it is what it is. That that's pretty good. A blue over there. Um, another one opening up. Another blue. Again, you see already the value is is way surpassing the ten dollar packs. All right. Um, no, it didn't do too well. One green, that worth. Um, again, one green worth, value worth, not very good at all. The drop rate's low. And, you know, one, well, there you go, one green. So, you know, it's not amazing. I call back than this. But again, I'm combining with everything all together. The value is incredible. Um, again, not too good as well. But combined together, this is the way to go. This is how you're going to be able to build lots and lots of stuff. That's blue. That's pretty good. Um. That's, you know, two greens. Again, nothing, no big deals over here, but usually you get one awesome thing and that like makes the whole the whole pack worth it. And um, three, nah, nothing special. Um, again, nothing special on this, this one, but again, you can see just how many packs, one blue bloodsucker, that's good, but you know, you wanna see another blue, that's good. Yeah, uh, never mind that pack. Um, one green. Um, oh, that, well, that was a waste of a hundred, and nothing. We're gonna move through this quickly. I'm not gonna do much explaining unless we said something awesome. Um, yeah, not nothing special, and nugget. Again, all of this combined is really good. Rare, but you know, you want to see a purple or a, or a, you know, legendary. Okay, this is uncav, so you know, I'm looking for the good stuff over here. Um, yeah, nothing special. Yeah, blue, better than nothing. Um, yeah, of course, the legendary is not going to be all the things I want, but you will need those. So. A green. Yeah, no, this this is I've done I do better usually, but at the same time, is the value is still there. It's twenty bucks. You're still getting really cool stuff. Um, this is always hard to get good stuff from, so you know you shouldn't be surprised when you get nothing. And this, yeah, never mind. And never mind. I'm moving through it quickly. Don't want to bore you. Um, and. Yeah, that's another blue. Again, it all adds up. Another blue. And another blue. There we go. To answer the question in the end, is the Material Madness worth it? Yes, I'd say it's one of the best packs that exists in Lords Mobile. If you're a P2P, P2P player, go for the Material Madness if you're trying to build up your gear. That's, that's the only normal way to do it. And then once you finish, as I said before, focus on one particular type of and that, um, you know, by the ten dollar packs, I'll give you, you know, very specific types of rares. If you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up it, like it, follow me on Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter. Or don't, don't care. <laughs>